Um, so I have with me now uh, Vladimir Krabnik. Um, Vladimir, you you know that some people are unhappy that they can't watch all the moves live on whatever chess site they prefer. What's your opinion about that? Well, my opinion is quite clear that if you want to make chess professional, if you want to make chess grow, I mean, we we have to uh, to make a very clear. We have to understand very clearly that. Uh, uh, the organizer of, of any chess tournament, any chess tournament, has a full transmission rights uh, live uh, on internet. I mean, I have nothing against the sites. I mean, I, I understand that that they would like to transmit it, but then, you know, then they have to pay for it. And because organizer, he is in, he is investing a lot of money, efforts to organize a tournament. And uh, okay, morally, legally, in all senses, he has full rights for live transmission. I mean, that's the way that the way football, tennis, and other successful sports they became successful. I mean, without it, football would go immediately uh, down enormously, and tennis as well. I mean, that's the main main asset of organizers of of, uh, of events in this uh, you know these successful sports is uh, the uh, you know exclusive rights tv rights or internet rights and i'm i'm absolutely sure and actually i can even tell you that i was talking about it and he was was trying to to make it work a long time ago many years ago and uh, that's for me it's absolutely clear that uh, i there is absolutely no problem for public because okay wo- uh, i mean there is no problem there is a fantastic internet transmission with commentaries with video it's not a problem at all to watch it on the on the you know main site of the organizer i mean nobody is is suffering from it not yeah. players no but but there is a lot of uh, you know it's just fair let's put it this way but also fortunately what made a big difference that since uh, quite recently it became also legal yes. Lega- legally approved i mean because it was to me it was clear long ago that it's fair it has to be like this but now it's legally like this and i'm very happy about it i mean that's okay. the, that's the way we can really i mean chess can really jump to totally different level because once okay i know the statistics uh, and uh, i was investigating this matter a lot and i know the statistics that only uh, in before uh, before we start to work on it i mean now again again uh, only maximum maximum 30 percent of visitors were watching games on the uh, official website so the biggest majority of, of chess lovers are watching it, or, you know, on other sites, which I don't want to blame anyone, but yep. which is also making money out of it, you know, because there is a membership and, you know, they're making money, not investing anything sure. into it. And I think it's just simply not right because the organizers, the, I mean, uh, we all, chess public, chess lovers and chess professionals, we all depend a lot on the organizers yes. of the event. And, you know, it's... Uh, Okay, they have to get benefits as well. Not only chess players and chess public who are enjoying chess. We are playing chess. We are very happy about it. We are earning money. But you know, finally, organizer also needs to get something. And I think it's just I'm very, very happy, and I fully support this uh, this innovation. Great. Well, that's a very comprehensive answer. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.